Hello everybody, it's your boy Royal Rose here, and uh, what's going on? Some of you might not know me, some of you may do. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm going to just myself real quick. Uh, I play a lot of fighting games, and I am one of the best wargs in Multiple Tech Lumina right now. Um, and uh, today, they just dropped a character uh, that I've been kind of excited for, um, hoping that they would get in. One of the characters I'm hoping they get in uh, is uh, Akko. Uh, I used to secondary her in, uh, in back, uh, back when I was learning that game in order to get ready for Lumina, and, uh, they actually announced her today. Um, they actually did announce Dead Apostle Noel first, and the reason I didn't react to that or anything like that was because, while I was excited for the ga character gameplay mechanic-wise, because we really don't have set play characters in that game, um, <laughs> overall I was not really excited for that character. Uh... I was excited because she could definitely help out with some of the matchups that I was not really too comfortable with um, playing Warwick, and um, I really want another set play character in this, or a set play character in this game, uh, and we got one, <laughs> and I'm really excited, the one that I'm actually excited for, so um, what I'm going to be doing here today is I'm already watching the trailer, Kind of, I've never done like a reaction video before, but I'm actually excited and I want to kind of break down the trailer of stuff that I saw. Uh, you know, once the battle gameplay video comes out, I'll probably do a video on that as well. Uh, but I did want to do a video on this uh, while it was still fresh. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is watch the trailer completely and uh, see what's going on with it. And then I'm going to kind of break it down a little bit and uh, see if we can find some stuff and uh, go on from there. So, let's uh, see what she's all about. Ah, so cool. God, this character. Look at this stage, bruh. <laughs> this stage. Oh my gosh. Mm hmm. Throwing the orb. You have the classic. Yeah, clash sequences. You know, melty blood type Lumina. Okay, yeah, I got a lot to say about that. And of course, you got the arc drive. Ah, and there it is. She's coming out on January 13th, which is like less than two weeks from now, or about two weeks from now. So, <sighs> God, it's so hype. Okay. God, she looks so good, bro. Oh my God. I love, bro. I love that they kept the t shirt and jean design for her, bro, and they didn't change it. I was, because for a lot of the characters in Lumina, I was afraid that they were going to change the way they looked a lot. Um, because the way that Wark and then Arc look in uh, Lumina are way different than what they look like in Impact. So this is so crazy, bro. She looks so good, dude. Holy shit, bro. Everybody's seen Shiki before. Okay, so we're gonna be stopping this a lot. So uh, let's look at the first thing here. So right here, Shiki was either trying to do 236B or 236A. So the fact that that sweep caught from that far, a lot of sweeps can't go there. So something like Miyako, Miyako sweep, or I want to say probably like Kishui, their sweeps aren't that good in order to punish these like that. Even Wark. Wark has a really good 2C and sometimes punishing with that move, uh, especially with 236B and the way that it works, it can be very tough and challenging. So the fact that her 2, but maybe her 2, is that her 2C? Maybe 2 or 3C? The fact that it sweeps like that and it beats that move is very, very good. I'm excited for that. I'm excited. She could be a really good Shiki counter, which is very big. <laughs> this is very big. That's very, very big, so. Yeah, going with the rapid beat here. It looks like BC BC Air Throw? That's what that is. Mm hmm. BC BC Air Throw. Okay, this is very interesting right here. Um, I've seen a lot of people say that for some reason she's not setting up the orbs. She completely is. Um, right here, uh, she put an orb right there in the behind Shiki, mainly probably to advance him to push, or maybe so, like, to get him to do something. And he tried to jump in at her, and she completely stopped him by setting up another orb, which is something that you do in Impact. And in back, you kind of fort yourself uh, with uh, Akko. And in back, I played uh, C Akko. So would, the game plan would be, um, if you're playing neutral right away, is to bunker yourself. Sit yourself in uh, a spot, and then place orb down, and make your opponent have to kind of maze through it. Push them accordingly for it. And then um, when they get in, you could probably like air unblockable them, grab them, 
um, whatever you want, right? Um, it looks like here the orbs aren't air unblockable, which is good. Um, if they weren't air unblockable in and back. So I'm glad they're not air, uh, air unblockable here. That'd be so <laughs> scary to be so broken. But at the same time, it is very strong set play. The fact that they have to move around and kind of get around you is very strong. So the overhead, the overhead's gonna be dangerous. Oh, oh my gosh. And it looks like she's comboing into her finger guns. Awesome. Finger lasers. That is also good. Shiki tried to do 236B again. So I'm guessing they're just showing the fact that she can just destroy Shiki's 236B. Um, she has a air laser, which is awesome. Uh, Wark has air fireballs, which is one of the main reasons that I play her. It um, basically stops your opponent from jumping so much. Or if you throw your air fireball, it kind of makes them have to force them to think. Um, they can't just jump directly at you brainlessly and throw out JA or something to stop you, right? They either have to throw out shield or you can punch them for doing a really laggy move on the floor like 236C uh, or uh, 236B and um, very uh, capitalize on it very, very hard. So I'm glad that she has something like this because it's going to translate over well when I pick her up as well. So that's very cool. Yeah, Moon Drop Cancel into a pickup. That is so sick. That is also something that she is very known for in a setup that uh, I use a lot in Impact as well. Is just set up orb into throw. Throw them in the orb. Get your combo started right. If they're not, if they're respecting your orb too much, throw them into it. Um, her corner game is gonna be so oppressive. Oh my goodness. Uh, from what I didn't see so far, she doesn't have her six A, um, which is an overhead, and then it keeps going into mids, and it can combo off of each other, and it's a very good, it's very good rush down pressure tool, you know. Um, it has very low like pushback, so you can throw it out and then continue your pressure from there And it doesn't look like she has it. So maybe they're kind of basing her off of her half moon version instead of the crescent moon So I'm not too sure. Well, we'll see about that Yeah, and the combo and the overhead. Oh my god, so sick. Yeah, the melty blood clashes This is something that I want to talk about right here. You see how he shielded and he did uh, The B teleport which is uh, behind you, right? The fact that Akko can put a orb behind and in front of her, right? Or so she'll set up an orb right in front of her, and then she can bait out shield in order for you to hit that orb behind you is big. That is huge. That is so huge. You won't have to really depend on your reactions too much. So you won't have to really react on 3C or trying to super out of BC or shield back. You can just block. So that's one of the uh, things I've been working on a lot lately with Wark, is that if somebody just does B teleport, I'll just block. So the fact that you can block and then punish them with the orb that you set behind them for a combo really makes B teleport <laughs> very risky to use against her, which is very good. That shuts down an option that a lot of players will try to default to, and this is just amazing. That's really cool. I'm really excited for that as well. Look at that. It's so sick. EX orb in the super. Oh, man, the super looks so sick. Oh my gosh. Oh, this character is gonna be so nice, bro. This character's gonna be nice. I'm really excited for her. Um, I hope everybody that's coming back to the game to play her will stay a little longer. <laughs> you know, um, I know uh, a lot of people don't really like the mechanics of this game, but I think this game's very fun. And it looks like Akko will be another character that'll be bending the rules of the mechanics of the game. You know, Wark is one of the characters that really have to follow the rules of the mechanics of the game and really get good with it, perfect the mechanics, perfect the way the game is played, right? The uh, characters like Shiki, Volve, Miyako, they can play around the mechanics so they really have to deal with them. And it looks like Miyako, uh, not Miyako, it looks like Akko might be uh, a character that will also be able to kind of play around it and ignore a lot of the options that people find scrubbing. So I'm really excited for that. And um, not to mention as well with DA Noel coming out, that's another matchup that I'm going to have to work as well with Akko. So this is going to be a fun time. The 13th is going to be a very fun time and I'm very excited to see the players come back and I'm very excited to uh, get my hands on this character and player. Um, just like Wark, I am anticipating on being one of the best players with this character. So I'm really excited uh, for it. Um, thank you guys for watching. This is pretty much it. Uh, once the battle gameplay comes out, I'll definitely be watching that and I'll probably be reacting to it probably. But um, yeah, I've never done anything like this before and I just thought this was really cool. Uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, <laughs> good luck out there. Ah, it's gonna be so exciting.